hologram. It's made with a single beam. And the spoon was there, the film went on top, the light shone on the spoon, and it's recorded. Uh, it looks like a real spoon. It is a hologram. That's not a real spoon? It's not a real spoon. <laughs> oh my That's god. Like, oh, like, no, oh, I didn't. What? We're a museum of holograms other than the real spoon. <laughs> <laughs> So that's not a real spoon. It's not a real spoon. Yeah. You can actually um, see if you come over to this edge. So it's flat. It's just a piece of glass. Yeah. Oh. It's amazing. Like, it's this isn't cool. I love that one. I love that one. There is a piece of glass in there. There's a piece of glass. Oh, uh, okay. It's a real piece of glass. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It's a real piece of glass. And it's a real hologram. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> How, how sick do you think it is the glass? Um, the whole the whole the whole material is all. Uh, seven to eight microns. Right. Thank microns. microns. Well, there's nothing. Very thin. Really thin. So you can make the whole thing really thin on the wall. So the real thinness of that is only just not much thinner than the frame. So the frame is about the, one inch. Yeah. It's it's. If you look at if you look at the film on these pieces of glass, it's the same sort of thickness. It's, it's a very thin. If you so if this wasn't lit on, oh. nothing. Oh. So it's actually just the film. Oh. It's just that's all pure hologram, and that's just light. It's not being projected onto it. Wow. You can see a little bit on this edge that it's burnt into the emulsion, right at the front. Right. And that's because it's so bright there that it actually it's a and the direction of the light and the shade mode. And if you saw um, James Terrell's large holograms, what he did there was he did one object and two lights, and that gave a double image. So if I took a, a second light, I would get essentially a second spoon. Oh. The I have to come right out. That would be a fun thing to do, wouldn't it? You mean on the same thing, you could put another light and it would project the spoon out somewhere? And no, you would just, it would, it would get a set. Like, the more I move the, the light around here, the spoon would move in the relationship oh. to it. Oh. The shadow would move too? Because the relationship of the, the light to the image. Oh. There is no spoon. There is no spoon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to talk about this piece. This piece uh, is Charlotte in situ, and it's a piece that was made first in collaboration with Charlotte Mormon, who was an avant garde cellist uh, in 1981. And the, the idea was to create a shadow gram and a feeling of Charlotte in playing her cello. Um, this piece was then, uh, the artist then essentially stored the master <laughs> Sorry, she and then right out. made this piece last year for an exhibition of Charlotte Mormon's uh, work. Yeah. I've been Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 